everybody welcome back hope you are doing good before we start list let's discuss some output based question on string all right i got this question from the sample paper for the current session to solve this type of question we must draw dry run table but before that let's try to understand the code in short here is one string with some value there is one more string that is empty c is initialized to 0 using for loop we are iterating over the string it means i will be iterating over the individual character of this string using if else if there are total three conditions let's check out the first condition when the character is not alphabet then star will get concatenated to the previous string what's the second condition if the character is not upper case then we will be adding one to the value of c which is initially zero and based on the value of that index we will be considering the character that will get concatenated to the previous string if these two conditions are false we will come to the else part let's check out what we are doing in the else part using ord function we are getting the ordinal value of the character then we are adding one to it it means we will get the next ordinal value on that next ordinal value we are applying character function it means what we will get actually next character according to the ordinal value and that character is getting concatenated to the previous string after every iteration the value of c will get incremented by 1 hope you got the little idea of the code now let's draw the dry run table and check out the values in each pass so here is the dry run table let's start with the first pass in the first pass the value of i will be w initially c is 0 we know that w is an alphabet that's why it will not pass the first criteria what's the next condition it is not upper but we know w is a upper case letter that's why this condition is also not getting satisfied ultimately we will come to the else part from this code we understood that we have to consider the next character according to the ordinal value and we know that a to z has the ordinal value in sequence so after w what we have in the alphabets we have x this is capital x because w is also capital all right in the same way we will be proceeding to the next pass the next alphabet is e the value of c will get incremented to 1 the first criteria is false we will come to the second criteria yes it is not upper case it means it is satisfying the second condition in this pass what's the value of c it is 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 text of 2 means what 0 1 2 we will get l it means l will get concatenated to the previous string so we got this string this else part is not applicable moving ahead to the third pass the next character is nothing but l the value of c will become 2 it is not satisfying this criteria it will come to the second criteria we know now what we are doing we are taking the next character in the string so ultimately after l we have c in this way the same concept will get applied to the remaining characters that is c o m e so it will become fourth pass fifth pass sixth pass and the seventh pass later will be c o m and e the value will get incremented like 3 4 5 6 for all these characters we will come to the second condition the previous string is x l c so in the fourth pass we will consider the next character in the fifth pass the next character is m in the sixth pass the next character will be e and in the seventh pass the character we will consider as at the rate now it is not a small case letter it means in the eighth pass we are getting at the rate symbol the value of c will be 7 this is a symbol it is satisfying the first condition yes it is not an alphabet in this we are doing very simple thing we are just concatenating star to the previous string let's write the previous string first x l c o m e at the rate and star will get concatenated after at the rate we are getting space so let's add that pass here itself we got space the value of c will become 8 it also satisfies the first criteria because it is not an alphabet it means star will get concatenated here we will not write anything 
look at the next two characters it will satisfy the criteria of these small case letters so let's write the past 10 and past 11 first we are getting t then we are getting o the value of c will update as 9 and 10 all right let's come to the second part here is the previous string x l c o m e at the rate star star in this condition we consider the next character next character is nothing but o here we are writing the result of two pass in the next pass after o we have space it means we will not write anything but remember that here it is space let's continue with the next pass we could see after o there is space for space we already did what we need to do we need to concatenate star first let's write the previous string xl c o m e at the rate star star o then space after space itself we will concatenate star the value of c will become 11 here is the 13th pass we got capital letter e what we did for the capital letter same we will be doing we will be coming to the else part in the else part we need to take the next character according to the ordinal value in the alphabets we know after e we get f so f will get concatenated here let me write here itself what about the 14 pass in the 14 pass after e we are getting x x satisfies the criteria of the lowercase letter in the lowercase letter we take the next character we could see in the string after x we have 4 the value of c will be 12 then it will be 13 let me write the remaining pass here itself in the 15 pass after x we have digit 4 4 satisfies the first criteria itself yes it is not an alphabet it means what star will get concatenated the value of c will be 14 in the next pass we have letter m m follows the rule of lowercase letters in lowercase letter we are taking the next character of the string so in the string after n we have exclamation symbol let's write it wow we reached to the last character of the string it means that is the 17th pass it is an exclamation symbol this character satisfies the first criteria it is not an alphabet in that case what we do we concatenate star so let's do it wow after lot of efforts we finally got the output hope this was a tough exercise for the brain and you enjoyed it but with this you will get a clear idea how to solve this output based question you may get this type of question based on list 2 let me show you the output clearly don't get confused with space write your answer in a neat and clean manner all right there is one more question for practice let's try to understand the code first here is one string we are calculating the length of the string it is nothing but 10 total there are 10 characters here is the empty string there is one for loop i will take the values based on the range function range of 10 means the value will be from 0 to 9 look at the conditional statements if the character is between a to m we are changing it to uppercase and concatenating it to the previous string in case if the character is between n and z then we are taking the character based on the value of i we are subtracting one from that i and that character will get concatenated to the previous string if both the condition will be false we will come to the else part we will check the character is uppercase if it is uppercase then we are concatenating star to the previous string all right then let's work out together if you can do it yourself i will suggest you to pause the video hope you got it let's try to work out now in the past one the value of i will be zero s of zero is nothing but the first character that is w it satisfies the second condition because it is in the range of n to z in that case what we are doing look at the statement we need to take the s of i minus 1 the value of i is 0 0 minus 1 means what it is nothing but minus 1 at the position of minus 1 we have the character s so s will get concatenate to the empty string it means we got s all right let's work out on the next pass the value of i will be 1 the next character is e it falls in the range of a to m it means it satisfies the first condition what we are doing in the first condition we are converting the character to uppercase 
the previous string is nothing but s and the e will get converted to capital letter let's work out on the remaining pass in the pass 3 the value of i will be 2 the next character is l it satisfies this condition that's why it will get converted to capital letter in the fourth pass the value of i will be 3 the character is c this also will get converted to capital c all right what about fifth pass the value of i will be 4 after c we can see there is o it falls in the range of n minus z in the second condition we are considering the character s of i minus 1 the value of i is 4 4 minus 1 will be 3 at the index 3 we have letter c so the previous string is s e l c now the small c will get concatenated in the sixth pass the value of i will become 5 after o we have m if you have understood you can easily work out the m will get converted to capital letter so here is the string in the seventh pass the value of i will become 6 the next character is nothing but e this also will get converted to capital letter after e we have 2 in the code there is no criteria for the digit so the string will be as it is the next letter is nothing but c so it will get converted to capital c let me write the resultant string here itself finally we reach to the end of the string the last character is nothing but s very good you know what we have to do the value of i is 9 minus 1 ultimately it will be 8 so tell me which character is at the index 8 very good we have small c so this is the final output this is the final string to make it clear let me show you the final string hope you are enjoying this session i can solve as many questions as you want but when you will do yourself then only the concept will get cleared there is already a video in which we have solved some more output based questions on the string if you wish you can go through it otherwise take the screenshot and try it yourself then you can come and cross check your answer with this dry run table for your practice here is one more example you have dry run table too so if you make mistakes also you can cross check your answer and can be corrected all right here is the assignment to you do it yourself hope you will surely get the correct output but let me help you with this dry run table here is the final output when you will do it yourself you will feel it is very interesting so give it a try so it's time to wind up this video in case of any doubt let me know in the comments below in the next video we are gonna discuss one of the important data type that is list so stay tuned for the upcoming videos